What we have here is a heave element from an Indy car, fairly similar to an old-fashioned Formula One car or uh, any other race car that runs quite a bit of aero and has some freedom in its suspension design. Uh, what you have is this only moves under one suspension mode, which is heave. So that would be uh, under braking, so the front will pitch, so both wheels will move at the same time. Under acceleration, where the rear wheels will move at the same time. Uh, and also with downforce at high speed, so both front and rear suspension are compressing up and down. This won't work in roll, and it won't work with single wheel bump uh, either side. So what happens, this is linked to the uh, rockers of the suspension and will be partially extended in, in this design. And this is pretty straightforward. It doesn't even have any uh, hydraulics or damping inside. It is literally just a rod within a rod. Um, there's a little uh, vent hole here to let the air that's displaced by the rod movement in and out. And under uh, heave or uh, pitch movements, this will compress. And the teams will have the option of fitting uh, coil springs or Bellevilles here. They will also fit bump rubbers to this section. Uh, this little part that's on here is a final bump stop and also a little O-ring which looks like it's there just to let you know quite how much movement you've had, similar to what the cable ties around motorbike forks. The spring platform at the top here is adjustable. And you have spherical bearing for mounting to the chassis and mounting to the uh, uh, shuttle bar and rockers uh, at the bottom. So quite simply, there'll probably be a degree of free movement um, just for uh, small suspension movements. But then when you get the low frequency pitch of the car, this will compress and compress which ele elements are fitted in here and just prevent the car from bottoming out and stiffening in that last part of suspension movement. And uh, obviously on modern Formula One cars, this is all replaced by a hydraulic system. Can't be linked front to rear or left to right, but uh, the concept in terms of the basic device is the same.